Hello everyone. Do you know that many SEO beginners make lots of different mistakes? In this video, I am going to cover the five common mistakes which are made by SEO professionals while they are doing the SEO project. So let's begin our session. The first, talk, the first mistake done by most of the beginner SEO is creating low quality content and basically developing a level of uh, content which will not be sufficient for to rank on the search engines now what do you mean what do you what i mean by this is basically if you see the most of the website which rank on the top 10 positions will generally have approximately 2000 words to 3000 words of content and that content will be extremely helpful for user as well and as we know as per the recent uh, google update we have got google helpful content update that has become more specific now that if you create low quality content with 500 words or 800 words it is sure it's not going to rank and what they feel is because we have added content in this website previously there was no content we have added some content why is the website not ranking so the answer is it won't rank the reason for that is google is not going to give your website the boost you need if you have extremely low quality content so i would recommend that any article you write should have a comprehensive information and it should cover at least thousand words in the minimum level and it should cover the subject in detail so you can go up to 2000 to 3000 words for the article so first mistake done by seo is simply creating low quality content Number two, the second mistake done by most of the SEOs is ignoring the page experience of the user. What do you mean by that? Many users, actually, if you get a project in uh, from the client, most of the times I have seen that beginners will right away start doing SEO on the page the way the design it is and you will start working on it. If it was created long back in static website, they will take the static website and they start working, which is not at all correct. Now, why? because when we work on the website without a proper design it's eventually going to not work out for the project so what i recommend here is if you get any project as a beginner first thing analyze the website is it responsive is it uh, mobile friendly is it having a proper load time and look at all these factors and look at the design is it appealing is is, per, is it as per the latest standards so if all of these things are okay then you can start working instead if it is not then you can recommend the client for a redesign now recently i'll tell you around two to three projects we are doing right now where the client come up with a project but the project was designed long back in static so right away we said so this is not enough for our present uh, implementation as per page experience is concerned we need responsive side we need mobile friendly we need a better appeal and design and we asked for a redesign and first we started with redesigning of a project and then we started working on the seo elements of the project so second mistake done by beginners is not working on the design or the page experience of the website and as you know google also has a page experience update that will also have an impact on the ranking number three third option is most of the beginners actually create lots of spammy and low quality backlinks thinking the more number of backlinks i generate the more ranking i will get now i would ask you to stop here why because if you create lots of backlinks it's not going to really help you why because google algorithm that is a penguin inbuilt algorithm of google has become much smarter google has is been using lots of advanced ai to detect the spammy and low quality backlinks so today's uh, uh, reality is that the quantity is not really a factor but the quality is a very very important factor so while you are building backlinks make sure that you are working on good quality backlinks not just spammy backlinks and especially spammy backlinks uh, i mean a lot of people just submit on uh, you know low quality directories they submit on social bookmarking website they submit they do blog commenting and a lot of times i have seen they will just build no follow backlinks as well which doesn't impact any way in the ranking algorithm so make sure that you build always the quality backlink so the third mistake done by SEO professional beginners is creating low quality backlinks number four mistake number four of SEO professionals as a beginner is ignoring internal linking now I would like to tell you the interesting part of internal linking you see internal linking all uh, will affect your internal 
page rank now basically as we know the oldest algorithm of google is page rank and that will have an impact on overall quality and authority of the page so now if you see when i work on internal linking it will help in two ways first of all it will increase the internal traffic from one page to another user will browse more pages that is good for uh, page experience and number two is internal links actually pass link juice which is a link value to other pages so a lot of times if you see and in fact i have tested it myself on various of my projects when we get a project it has no internal link so we worked on the different strategies where we use the most relevant content and see what keywords can be what articles can be linked to what are old articles or new articles and we work on the internal link and that immediately without any uh, huge backlinks and all in many cases we were able to you know improve the position of the keywords by using just internal links obviously that was a low competitive niche but generally in a high competitive niche also you have to build external links but also quality links but also you can go for proper internal link building process that is the our point number four the fourth mistake is ignoring internal links and last one and which is very very common now as a beginners you may have uh, seen lots of different videos so one person say add this many keyword one person says the density should be this one person say title can be this many words and uh, you should add meta keywords with this many words and all now what happens in this process is rather than focusing on the user rather than focusing on the quality of the overall content most of the beginners tend to insert lots of lots of keywords and the, when you read the sentence it will look more like keywords it's, it will never look like a real content so what happened over optimization is also a problem where you over optimize the title over optimize the description over optimize the headings over optimize the content and put everywhere you are putting the keywords which makes it very very unappealing for a user to read and also google will detect about your content is you know over optimized and it's look like a spammy piece of content so the five fifth option is don't do over optimization to summarize the five mistakes most of the beginners do is creating low quality content number two ignoring page experience number three ignoring uh, creating spammy and low quality backlink number four ignoring internal links and number five over optimizing the page and as a beginner if you can you know work on this aspects and first work on quality content quality backlinks and working on the page experience and using internal link strategy for your benefit and also optimizing in a very proper proportion this will definitely definitely help your uh, improve your seo strategy and also help you rank better i hope you have liked this video and if you understand this uh, subject please uh, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel now i will be uploading weekly one video for you so please stay tuned and support web trainings academy and if you are looking for digital marketing course you can visit our website webtrainings.in where we have all our uh, content listed you can go there and you can uh, watch uh, uh, you can read our various blog articles as well thank you very much